when he talked to me about this, I thought, ooh, maybe I'm just gonna see those cars again because they have been tucked away somewhere and you don't see them anymore. And I used to see them when I used to visit uh, Peugeot Sport once a year. I used to take off the blanket on top of them in the corridor somewhere at Peugeot Sport and just to look at them because you miss those things, you know? They are truly iconic cars from one of the greatest periods of uh, sports car racing mm. and probably the last genuine factory cars that, that can ever be run by privateers. Yeah, exactly. I was aware that there were some Peugeots for sale, um, but the, the big question wasn't whether you could buy the Peugeots, cause, because clearly you could, but the big problem was how you got into a position to be able to run, maintain and rebuild them. So I came up with um, a plan that identified all the obstacles that had to be cleared. And the fundamental problem was about knowledge. Um, so I rang Nick up and I went down to uh, Sussex and this will have been about 2016, yeah, 2017. 16, yeah. And we basically spent 18 months. I told him what the idea was, that we uh, set ourselves up to run Peugeot diesels, went through him with it, with Nick, the um, the list of obstacles that were barriers to success in being able to run the Peugeots, and we basically picked off each hurdle one by one um, by Nick um, ringing all these contacts up from Peugeot Sport, and um, it took us about a year, eighteen months, to solve all the issues and once we'd solved them it took 15 minutes to buy the cars. <laughs> <laughs> 